welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an interior designer and this channel is all about sharing my tips on how to create a beautiful home and live your savviest life. Are you hosting a dinner party or any kind of meal where you've got some napkin ring holders that are a little out of date or tired? Well, watch this video because I'm gonna show you an easy DIY napkin ring holder that is absolutely going to blow your guests away. These are stunning, stunning, and gorgeous. And not only that, but I've got five different looks for you. So stay tuned. Um, from Amazon and these are just so beautiful. I love that they're clear. I like that there's kind of square and they have a circular opening and in the center they have a little beveled um, detail to it which I think is really pretty and you know they're made of acrylic but if you didn't hold them or know they kind of look like they could be made of crystals so I think that's a really pretty uh, look and for a set of four I on Amazon I found them for under $15 so really for like a full table of eight you'd only need to buy two packs which isn't too bad and then for the actual design on top I'm going back to my stones which I love stones I love I think they are uh, beautiful in any kind of accent and design uh, they offer like a really pretty crystally uh, texture and color and sparkle and it, a natural element so it's really pretty so I've got these agate slices that you've seen in my other videos um, as well as these round stones and again I was looking for something like a goldy brown color and one that had um, beautiful grains to it uh, I think that's really nice and then this amethyst crystal I've used that in another video as well I love the texture the color and this one is good because it has like a flat surface on the bottom so that's really important because you want to be able to mount these and stick these on the holders. Um, also I went to my arts and crafts um, store and I found this really uh, pretty bouquet of flowers. They're obviously not real but uh, what I like about these is because it has like a really kind of rosy texture but it's soft and it's elegant and I I like this because it came in like a pack of, well, in a bundle of, I think there's like 12 or 13 in here and it was about five or six dollars, so not bad. Um, you can get a whole uh, collection of eight done with one uh, bundle here. And when you look at the scale, you wanna look at, you know, you want something that's too big or too small. Um, I like this, the fact that I thought once it sits on here, it's gonna be a really pretty, um, color and scale to the actual napkin ring holder and then I also have um, these this really pretty brooch that I found also at my arts and crafts store um, and this one is more for a romantic feel but it's got the little diamond fake diamonds or whatever and the pretty flower design so uh, and then of course I've got to use my trusted E6000 glue to mount everything on the holders. Um, this stuff is great. It really works well on everything and it keeps it, um, and it's easy to use. It's not, it's not too hard and you can get them at your local arts and crafts store. But any of these uh, materials, if you're interested, I'll put links in the description below so you can have, you can see what, um, where I found them. But here we go, let's get started.
easy DIY, beautiful and gorgeous, gorgeous napkin ring holders that you can make at home and you can get them in different types of looks, whatever your heart's desire from modern and contemporary to soft or to traditional and classic, whatever it is. You've got a whole different collection here that I've shared with you. Um, and these make wonderful gifts, wonderful gifts for Mother's Day or for Christmas or for birthdays, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's just a really nice personal uh, touch that you can give as a gift. For the flower heads, maybe you can do something like getting a different type of flower head for each setting. Um, that's really pretty and different. Or for the brooches, um, I just bought this because it was just in the store and it was convenient, but maybe you can go to a secondhand store and find a collection of eight or 12 or however many you need that um, offers a different look for each one. That gives it a really nice um, history to it and I think that's really a personal gift that you can do. Or maybe your family member has a bunch of brooches lying around that they're not using and you want to recycle them to making them a napkin ring holder and giving it to them as a gift. That is really a personal and wonderful idea as well. So if you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button so I can continue to, to share my tips on how to create a beautiful home and live your savviest life. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and stay savvy.